Hi! Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would give you a review of the items that I have received in my birch boxes. So, In my May birch box I received five samples. Those samples were a dry shampoo, a facial moisturizer, an eyeshadow quad, a mask, and some aftershave wipes. So I'm going to talk to you about the products that I tried and what I thought about them. And I actually tried all of the products from my May Birch Box. The first one that I want to talk about is the dry shampoo. I'm not the type of person that uses a dry shampoo. This is Perk Up Dry Shampoo and it says that it is for all hair types. I did use all of this product and actually it has encouraged me to purchase a dry shampoo. I'm not gonna purchase this dry shampoo here, but I am gonna get an inexpensive dry shampoo. I really liked the way that this helped me to just kind of refresh my hair when I didn't want to wash it and blow dry it and curl it and do all of that. It's summertime and it's hot out. So I'm not a dry shampoo lover. I've used dry shampoos in the past, but I've never really sworn by them the way some girls do. I have oily hair, so I do need to wash my hair every other day. A dry shampoo just really doesn't cut it. I still feel greasy even after I use a dry shampoo, but I did use all of this. I did like it enough that I'm going to purchase a dry shampoo. I'm just not going to purchase this dry shampoo. The next product that I want to talk about is the uh, Benefit Total Moisture Facial Cream. This is an okay product, I'll tell you. I don't have my Birchbox card from May, I have the one from June. I'm going to talk about some of those products. This product is not formulated for my skin type. Um, I have used quite a bit of it. The problem is that it is too thick and it never really settles or absorbs into my skin. Not to say that it's a bad product, just that it is not for my skin type and that's the biggest reason why I don't like it. This could be something that would be beneficial in the winter months when I am more dry to use at night, but they sent it to me in my May birch box, so that's when I tried it. It's just not formulated for me. Next up, I want to talk about this clay mask here. This is by Marcel. I used this once. It says to apply generously once or twice a week on cleansed skin, avoiding the delicate eye area. Let dry for 10 minutes, then rinse with lukewarm water. I made it about eight minutes until it just felt really dry and really uncomfortable and I washed it off. I did notice afterwards that my face was a lot smoother. It did feel a bit tighter. I don't necessarily know of any other types of benefits that I might have received from it as well as ongoing or long-term benefits since I did only use it the one time, but I didn't hate it, I did like it, I liked the way my skin felt afterwards, but uh, as just a word to the wise or caution, I only lasted eight minutes before it did become uncomfortable and I needed to take it off. Um, the next product up here that I'm going to talk about is the um, Coastal Sense Revealed uh, Palette Sampler. This is called Desert Bloom, and let's take this out here. There's four shades in this quad. There is one matte shade, which is this uh, brown color here. And then there are three uh, sparkle or shimmer shades. So you've got this kind of cranberry color. This looks like a purple, but it's very, very uh, sheer thin. Like there's not much to it. It just shears out to be like a kind of a glitter top coat almost. And then this mustardy golden color. I've worn this quad, this palette, twice, and the difficulty that I have, I find it hard for me to pull off a look with just these four shades. This brown is a bit dark for me as a transition shade, and then the other colors being shimmers or sparkles, it's pretty difficult. So I do have to pull in other colors, maybe just choose one of these to kind of be the highlight or the star, but that's not necessarily anything that's a deal breaker. I didn't have any problems with the way that these applied or the way that they wore the staying power, the longevity, or anything like that. But based on this sample, there isn't enough here that made me fall in love and go, oh my gosh, I really want to buy the Coastal Sense Revealed palette. So 
uh, something to think about there. Makeup is one of my favorite samples to get in my birch box though. I also received these Wish Flawless Swipe Post Wax and Shave Serum. It says banishes the appearance of bumps and ingrown hairs. I did use this on my bikini area and I didn't I didn't notice a lot of difference. I think that I still had some bumps, maybe not any ingrown hairs. I definitely did have some bumps still. Um, it claims to exfoliate and cleanse, restore and smooth, and calm and soothe. I did feel that it was moisturizing, so the restoring and the smooth and maybe the, the uh, calms and soothes. I don't know about the exfoliating and the cleanse. Like I said, I did get bumps. I didn't get any ingrown hair. So again, not a product that I would necessarily run out and purchase. So those are the products that I received in the May Birch Box. I did try all of those products. None of them is an absolute dud, but none of them for me is something that I'm going to go purchase. The reason why I did renew my Birchbox subscription though is because they were advertising a free full-size beauty blender and solid cleanser with that. And I gotta say, this is a winner. I don't know why it took me so long to try the original beauty blender, probably because I thought that there wasn't gonna be any difference between a $19.99 sponge and a six or seven dollar sponge that I got at Ulta, but there is a difference. Uh, if you are on the fence about it and you're just really not sure or you're really not sold on it, get it and try it. It is very, very different than any of the other generic beauty blender sponges that I tried and I really, really wish all those times that I'd picked it up and thought about purchasing it when I was at Ulta or Sephora that I would have just gone ahead and get it. And I like the solid cleanser a lot. I've used that a couple times, not only on my beauty blender, but also on my face brushes and things like that. So definitely recommend this. This was a great bonus buy or, or gift with the Birchbox subscription. So totally happy about that. If you watched my unboxing Birchbox video for June, you have already seen the products that I got in my Birchbox. And I have had time to try just about all of them. Um, I'm gonna first talk about the hair tie. This was a bonus uh, item that I got. It did what a hair tie did, it, it holds my hair. It's not my favorite kind of hair tie. I'm actually thinking about <laughs> using it on my yoga mat, but that's neither here nor there. Um, the second item that I got was this shampoo. It is Minu Shampoo. It is by Davinus. Davinus? I don't know how to say it, sorry. Davines? I don't really know. This is a very large sample size and I was super duper excited. I used this and I used it along with the foil packet of conditioner and I tried the serum. I did not like the serum. It is called Menu Serum uh, to protect hair color and boost shine. I didn't love the serum. I did like the shampoo and the conditioner. You can see I've used quite a bit of it. I've probably got one or two more uses out of it. But again, nothing extremely special about it to warrant me spending $25 on it. I am a suave girl at heart, um, so give me my two or three dollar shampoo and call it a day. The next product that I want to talk about is this one here. This is the Real Chemistry Luminous 3 Minute Peel. I was super excited to try this product. This is unlike anything that I'd ever tried before. Basically what you do is on a uh, wet face you apply this gel and then you start massaging in circles and it balls up and when it's doing that it is reacting with the water and your skin and it is exfoliating and removing the dead skin and junk and all of that stuff. The problem with I had with this is that it seemed like it didn't have enough time to make contact with my skin and sit on my skin before it just like immediately started balling up and I didn't really feel like it was working or doing what it was supposed to do. After I used this, I felt like my face felt a bit smoother, but it just didn't give me enough results or the kind of result that I really was looking for. This product is $48 for a full size, and this is not something that I would purchase. It's not something that I'm really even excited about using up the rest of the sample. I can take it or leave it. 
Um, the next item that I want to talk about is this waterproof eyeliner. Um, I didn't notice uh, whether it was waterproof or not. I didn't test that. I did like the color. I liked the color when I tried it um, and I got it in my birch box. I wore it the other day. I wore it on the lower um, lash line, not the waterline, the lower lash line. And I, again, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I felt like I really had to try to build the color up. Uh, I put it on and then I smudged it out and it just kind of looked like it all disappeared. So then I applied some more. I don't know, like I said, whether or not it was waterproof. It did not irritate my eyes or bother me and that is always important. But again, this product is $11 and I think that there are other eyeliners out there that I would rather purchase before purchasing this. The uh, fragrance sample, this is called, this is by Toka and it is called Bianca and it's described as a clean citrus scent with undertones of rose and sugar and I've worn it the last couple of days just because I have it and I wanted to try it out and I don't hate it again but I don't love it. It's not a scent that is up my alley. It's not something that I would be drawn to, but I do like having different scents. I like to have different places where I wear different scents. I like to have one scent that I kind of keep reserved sort of for special evenings with my husband, and then that always kind of is special and just for him and it makes me think about that and then you know scents that I might wear every day to work or to here there and everywhere so this is a good everyday scent I would recommend that if you're at the perfume counter and you do want something that is clean and crisp that you give this a smell and see if it's something that you would like but again I'm not going to go rush out and purchase this um $68 no thanks not for me. I'm very, very cheap and frugal, so I like to sample the products. I like to see what's out there, see what things are like, but a lot of times the price of the items just isn't for me. The last product here that I'm going to talk about, I haven't actually tried out yet. This is the Kula SPF 50 Sport in Mango. A full-size retails at $32. It smells wonderful. I just haven't tried it yet because it's been quite a bit rainy and I really want to put this to the test on a sunny day when I go to the pool. This is a classic sunscreen, fresh mango. It's a broad spectrum SPF 50. So I definitely want to wait to give this a good trial. The last thing that I do want to mention is I tried out this Freeman coffee and chai energizing paper eye mask. It's a facial mask to revive tired skin around the eyes. It was new. I picked this up at Target or Walmart a little bit ago. I think I talked about it in a haul. It was only a couple of bucks. It is something that I think I would pass on. I had another one that I tried that was a full face one and I liked that one a lot more. I felt that I really got some results and it made a difference. This one that I tried, I didn't really see a difference. I should have done kind of a before and after to see if it really did uh, energize my uh, tired skin around the eyes. But as far as how it felt and how it looked, I didn't notice any dramatic differences. So a uh, couple bucks I think I might just keep in my pocket and spend towards something else. Let me know if you got any of these products in your May or June birch box, if you've tried them out and what you think. Is there something here that you love that I'm just kind of so-so or on the fence about? If so, leave me some comments below and let me know why you love it so much. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.